Okay, so in this part of the video, I'm going to change the uh, fluid, flush out the fluid out of the ABS unit on this 2000 K1200 LT. And in order to do that, we need to pull off some panels. So we need to pull off these side panels here. There we go. To pull off the side panels, we're going to take off this handlebar, this uh, lift bar here, the grab bar. Yeah, so in order to get to these part, parts of it, we got to take off the rear seat. So we pull off these, pull these two uh, screws out, the seat will pull away, and it will expose uh, the other areas. The other reason that we have to pull this rear seat off is when we do the rear brakes here, the reservoir is up underneath here. So on the other side of the bike, I've already pulled that cover off. And you can see where the reservoir is. It's up underneath here, right here, and that's underneath the seat. So we got to pull the seat off in order to access this to be able to uh, flush that fluid out of there. So you don't really need to pull the uh, the passenger footrest off. I did it here just for uh, visual purposes. Um, it's, it's not going to hurt it if, if brake fluid gets on that part because it's a chrome part. Um, Anyways, it's just three bolts anyway, so it's, it's pretty easy to take off. And if you're wondering why my spring here is purple, it's because I changed out the springs to uh, some progressive springs instead of the stock springs that come in there. These are Hyper Pro springs. It was a tremendously worthwhile upgrade for this particular bike. So anyway, I'm going to take off the rest of these parts here, and uh, then I'll get back to the video. So I got this off, the cover off of here. Get the leaf out of there. Don't need that in there. So this is your ABS unit here. A lot of times these go bad on these units, but in this case, mine is not bad. It's working quite nicely. Thank you. I don't know what that's from. Anyways, this is the one for the front brakes. That's one for the rear, because it's pointing to the front. So we're gonna do the front one first. Since I got the cover off of the other, you know, the cover's already off. I've already bled the, the brakes out there. I just want to pull whatever, if there's any bad stuff in here, I want to pull it out. Basically what happens here with the with the brakes, it, it, the brake fluid travels from the reservoir through this unit, then down to the front brakes. The same with the rear brakes. They go from the reservoir in the back to this unit, then to the pedal, then to the... So it's, it's just a big circle. So anyways, I want to bleed these out, so I'm going to crack this open, put my little vacuum thing on there, and... Uh, suck some of the fluid out of here and that's how that's what it takes to bleed non-integrated brakes pull the cap off don't lose it now it is possible I think I have gravity fed this in the past gravity bled not fed bled. So I'm going to try that first. Hand down below. Put the cap on there. And just crack it open. Yeah, here it comes. So it will gravity bleed. It's really not going to take a whole lot because it's it should have been already flushed through the system. So I'm just going to let that drain for a while, uh, and uh, just keep ma making sure that the reservoir doesn't get too low, and that's going to do it. It's not a whole lot to this. See down below here, the dripping out of there definitely is bleeding. And we'll just let that go for a little while. All right, so now this thing is uh, it's been dripping for a while, so uh, reservoir is pretty full at the moment. So I'm going to close close this thing down. Alright, just 
dry off any excess that's laying in there. Put the cap back on. That's the front one flushed out. Now I'm going to do the rear. So same procedure here. Just mo slightly modified. Pull the cap off. Don't lose it. up pump this out a little bit so that it uh, starts drawing fluid through it There it is. Those bubbles that are in there right there are not from, again, are not from the, uh, the system. Now this one you have to pay attention very closely to the levels in your reservoir because they drop very quick. So have some fluid on hand. Reach over and pour some in. I like to pour it right up to the top so I give it give myself all the room I need. And we just keep pumping it out until it uh, runs clear here. This fluid looks really very good from last year. Uh, I could have let this easily go another year. But I don't mind flushing this thing out just because uh, I like to run new fluid and stuff. Every year. I change these things every single year. So right now this rear path is going from the reservoir down to the foot brake. And then over here to this. When we when we uh, empty out the, or when we flush out the uh, the rear caliper, it will take it through the whole system, through this unit, and then down to the, the caliper. Thing really empties out quick. Doesn't hold much. And it's really critical that you keep this thing, keep it flowed, uh, filled up. All right, it's starting to run pretty clear. Hopefully it shows up on the video. Again, those bubbles don't mean anything here. They're just coming in from underneath this. All right. So now we're gonna close that thing off. Cap back on it, and that's it. Now it's onto the rear caliper, and we'll uh, finish this job up. Back here at the rear caliper now, we got to take off the little dust cap here. Um, I do like to pry the, uh, uh, the the brake pads away, just to uh, one I'll be able to recheck them a little bit, and two it pushes out the fluid. So that it can just be changed out with brand new fluid. 
All right. Let's put those kind of spread out. Pop this cap off of here. Maybe. There it goes. This one will gravity feed on this model. So I'm going to pull this off with my uh, with my vacuum thing here. Use my 11 millimeter. Crack this thing open. And there it goes. Starting to fill up my tube here. I'll just let that drain for a little bit. Definitely make sure your reservoir is still full. So once it uh, once it clears out, once you get you see clear fluid coming in here, you can lock this down. And I'll I'll do a quick edit here and make it happen. It's running pretty clear now, so we just tighten this down. Now we can. Now everything's closed up. We can pump the brakes up. Make sure that everything's working correctly. And it's right there at the top, so everything's tight. It's good to go. That's all there is to these brakes. When I stop filling it, I actually have too much in here, so I'm gonna have to let some out. I'm gonna have to. Uh... I'll just put a paper towel in there and soak some of the uh, the excess up or maybe suck it out with the vacuum. But you want to get it down uh, to a level here about halfway. So when you put this cap in there, that, that little rubber cap that, that squeezes down inside there and takes up all the airspace, it will uh, sit at the, the upper level there, at the high level. So I'm going to do that. And uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope that uh, you learned something. If you didn't, well, I don't know what to tell you. It's really not a hard thing to do on, the, on these bikes. It's, really, it's not even a hard thing to do on the bikes that have the integrated brakes. That one's kind of nice because it actually has a built-in pump. You can just pump this stuff through. So um, I hope you learned something. And uh, if you feel like contributing to our, our uh, website, please do so. Uh, there's a contribute button somewhere on, uh, here on the website. Please uh, take a look and thanks for watching.